name is Brian, as you just said, and um, some people would say that I look like a sort of sexy Vladimir Putin. <laughs> you know, and just a little bit. I, I asked. <laughs> I asked. I asked friends, uh, what, what, what will I talk about while I'm doing stand up for seven minutes on stage? And one of my friends said to me, um, Brian, you know. Why don't you just talk about uh, your failed hopes and dreams and things that get you down? Blah, blah, blah. That's good bound to make the audience laugh, you know. So, uh, thanks for that. And um, another one said to me, Brian, just remember when you go up there, you are a strong and confident woman. <laughs> you are going to blossom into a beautiful flower on that stage. Mind you, this same friend, uh, he has this special dance. Uh, where he pretends to fist himself in the middle of a uh, dance floor. Yeah, uh, I won't. You know, I'll leave it to you. I won't argue, but he's sort of based now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's, a bit, it's, a bit, it's a bit graphic. Uh, but um, yeah, so I'm kind of reluctant to take advice from him usually. Um, so, but I recently did, did a course in stand up comedy there, and um, the teacher said to us in every class we should bring along a notebook. Uh, with all our jokes and funny stories written down. And I, I never brought along a, a notebook. And uh, Sharon was her name, and she said to me uh, one, one of the classes, Brian, where, where's your notebook with all your funny stories and jokes? And I said to her, it's okay, Sharon, I, I, I don't need a notebook. All my jokes are they're all in my head. You know? And she said to me, oh, well, uh, can we explore your head then, Brian, uh, to find your jokes? You know? uh, I said to her, no. No, this is private. Nobody else is allowed in here, Sharon. Um, I haven't got a girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know why. It's just I think I often blame it on the fact that I'm uh, bald. Uh, a lot of people say that bald men are just full of, you know, full of testosterone. And uh, you know, a lot of macho actors like uh, Jason Statham and Bruce Willis, they're. they're they're always in ma They're always uh, playing macho characters in action films, you know. And I can understand that because uh, when I was recently, I was on the uh, Lewis, and uh, I didn't have a ticket, and I was caught. And the one of these big security guards came up to me and said, "Brian, uh, sorry, well, he didn't know my name." So <laughs> <laughs> he said, uh, well, "Where's your where's your ticket there?" And uh, I said, uh, "Sorry, I, I don't have one." And uh, just just uh, just at that moment, I felt like I thought it. I imagine myself saying to him, um, oh, what's that over there? And just when he turned around, I imagine just chopping him in the neck or something, you know, <laughs> and beating him up with his truncheon and then uh, prizing the door open with my, with my hands and jumping out, you know. But uh, no, it, it does have its use of being bald. Uh, I went to see a, a match uh, a couple of years ago, and I was down in the Keys, and uh, it was a big match. It was on the, the screen, and there was just the place was absolutely packed. There was lots of uh, well, scangers there. And I was right at the back of the crowd looking up at the screen. And this guy came up to me, and he was obviously looking for his friends. And he was on his phone, and he said, Yeah, 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 where are you? Where are you? You know, oh, where, where, where are you? I can't find you. Yeah, I'm just at the back here. I'm standing beside some, uh, some tall guy with a weird looking head. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, I felt good. It felt good that, um, you know, he found me useful as a point of reference so we could find his friends then, you know. Uh, so uh, that, that was nice. Um, but um, I worked in, uh, another thing about me is I worked in Google Maps. And um, that was a strange experience. I think they just used to take the piss out of me all the time in there. They once had a, an 80s team day where everybody had to come in and dress in 80s costumes. And I was like, no, no, I don't want to, I'm not getting involved in that rubbish, you know. That's so crap, I don't want to know. They actually gave me the prize for the best 80s costume that day. <laughs> <laughs> People were coming up to me all day and saying, no, oh, Brian, I love the, I love the uh, leg warmers and all that. What were you talking about? No, I love the Boy George costume there, Brian. No, these are my normal clothes. What are you, what are you? <laughs> yeah, it was, a, it was a, bit of a strange experience, all right. But I was also on a team where my mother seemed to be very popular uh, on the team for some reason. Uh, it was like a team of lads. And we'd have these meetings where the team lead would say, uh, right, well, what's the, she would say, say to us, well, what's the latest policy on, uh, uh, you know, Google Maps listings for train stations? 
I wanted the last to say, surprise, man. And uh, just like, that seemed to be the answer for everything in, in there. Yeah, Brian's mad is, Brian's mad. That. And I think it's, it's actually still going on in there. Um, like, recently I actually Googled, uh, did a Google search, and uh, the results page came up and it actually said, did you mean Brian's mad? <laughs> 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 it, it was worrying, because I was, I was actually Googling chief nights out in Dublin. <laughs> so it's, it's actually worrying that, that the, I didn't even want, I didn't want to know what the eye fitting lucky button was going to show up. Anyway, that's me, that's what.